Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a DVD menu in Final Cut Pro. I might be dating myself a little bit here, but I remember a time before DVDs. VHS, Be Kind Rewind, Blockbuster. I'm gonna share with you how to create a DVD menu with the best settings for your project. And then we'll take a look at adding custom elements to personalize it even further. Let's check it out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro and we are gonna create a DVD menu for this project. Uh, we did this in a previous video about how to balance audio. So a few things to keep in mind on about how you're sharing your project. A DVD is going to be a lower quality than most of the videos you're gonna put out. Instead of it being a very high quality 1080p, you know, something you put on YouTube that's gonna look solid. Instead, it's gonna be something that looks like a DVD. Um, there is the option to uh, burn a Blu-ray, which uh, Final Cut does have that. If you take a look at the share menu here, you can create a preset, a destination for Blu-ray disc, but you gotta make sure that you have the Blu-ray burner. So let's say our project is all the way done and we're ready to make the DVD. Let's click on that. So with this menu open, I wanna point out a few things. Obviously we got the DVD icon down here. It looks like this is gonna be burned in 480. So 480p is pretty low quality. Uh, there's not a lot of pixels there to create that high quality picture. Now, if you're just looking to share like a, an, uh, a slideshow with family or something like that, this is a great option still. And keep in mind a lot of these settings, a lot of this walkthrough, you can use these steps to inform how you do a Blu-ray disc as well. So let's go to settings, we'll dive into this. Output device is our first option. So you can either create a, a file package for uh, a DVD and have it put on the hard drive, or if you've got, say for my MacBook here, I've got a Apple Super Drive plugged in, we're gonna select that. And now we have a few more options. You can see there's the eject button that if we had a disc in there, we needed to eject it real quick. We got that option there. Depending on the type of disc that you have, which uh, you'll either wanna look at the package or this in the case of this one here that I've got, it does not have a label. It's a just a flat white image uh, to help with you know printing. But you wanna find out whether or not it's a single or double layered uh, DVD that you're using. Uh, then from there, we're gonna get into the template. So we've got a couple different templates. Me, personally, I tend to stick to just black or white. I like to go for simplicity, but there's also a few other options here as well. But they all basically, as you can see at the bottom, they all basically have the same menu options. So you've got the play button, you've got some other settings over here. But yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, keep it on black. So next up is titling the disc. Looks like we got that set for Stupid Raisins. The volume name is interesting. You have to use uppercase letters and also have no spaces. So as you can see, there's the underscore here. Let's say we go with Stupid Raisins. So when the disc loads, you have the option to either show the menu, which will pop up one of these things right here, or it'll have the option to play the movie. So if you wanna pop the disc into the player and it's just gonna immediately start playing, you select that option. I prefer to show the menu because you pop the disc in, you may not be ready to play, the family still may be gathering, all that stuff. It's nice to just have that ready and queued up. So you have the option here to put chapter markers as subtitles, which I believe just kind of marks up the, um, the name of the chapter as a subtitle at the bottom. Then you've got the option to include a loop movie button, which basically just tells the DVD to keep playing this movie over and over and over. That'd be a great setup if you are, say, putting this uh, DVD in, say, like a doctor's office and you wanna play the same stuff over and over all day long. Background, so we're gonna come back to those in just a second here, but uh, down here at the bottom, we also have the option to include captions. So in Final Cut, you can check out another one of our videos. You can build out some captions and then you can decide to include them in your DVD. You can also choose to burn in captions, which basically takes those captions, puts it directly onto the video. So every time it plays, whether the viewer chooses to or not, the captions will just be burned in always on the screen. As we get closer to burning that DVD, I just want you to know we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. So to further customize this, what we're gonna do is come down here to the uh, logo image, title image, background. So for the background, I wanna use, let's say uh, this shot here. 
Let's say I want that to be the background. I want that to appear here in the menu. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cancel. We'll come back to this later, but I wanna find that spot right about here. And then we are going to go up to share. All right, we got that spot selected. We're gonna go up to share and add a destination. And in here, there's the option to save current frame. So we're gonna click and drag this over. Let's go ahead and put this right at the bottom. And we're gonna select this. And then we're gonna decide in this drop down menu which type of image we want created. In this case, I just wanna do a JPEG. So let's go back out of here, close this window, go back to share. And we're on the same current frame that we want. So let's save the current frame that we're on. All right, stupid raisins background. Next. We'll just save that in one of our folders here. All right. So we're gonna go back into our options here. Go back to the DVD. Okay, so we got things back to how they were before. And what we're gonna do is gonna find that background. Let's go ahead and add it. Oh, boom, it's right there. Open. We can already see that preview is starting to take shape. Now there's a couple other things I wanna do. I wanna go ahead and add a title image. All right, so we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna track down my uh, logos that I've got ready for that. All right, so I got those logos put in there. So yeah, it doesn't look like the preview's given us much to go off of, but we'll see how that turns out in the final product. And speaking of that, we are ready to burn. Let's go ahead and click on share. And I'm gonna go up to the corner here where we'll see the background tasks are moving along. It's writing, creating, burning the DVD. Oh, it wants us to put a disc in. Let's do that right now. Skadoosh. All right, this is a short video, so it shouldn't take too long to burn, but it does take a moment to write it. So let's let it go through its process. Okay. The disc is ready. Let's take a look at this. The burn is complete. To make another copy, insert a blank disc and click burn again. So you do have this option if you want it to burn again. That works out really great if you have like 10 of these to make, but we're only doing one today. Let's go ahead and click OK. All right, now let's check out the final product. I'm gonna slip this back in the drive. The moment of truth. So because of copyright protection, Apple was not allowing the screen recording software to work and play nicely with the DVD software. So to get around that, I'm just recording the screen here real quick. You can see the title of the video, the title image appeared in the middle here. The logo appeared off to the side there. You've got the name, the, the um, duration, and down here in the corner, you've got the loop button as well as the play button. So let's go ahead and select play. Our world is full of light. Don't miss out on the beauty our world has to offer. Take time to notice. Go outside. Fantastic. All right, so we created a DVD. We edited the menu, customized it a little bit with some logos and backgrounds, and we got our final product. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Ah, 2000s nostalgia. Now that you've learned how to create a DVD menu in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to do slow motion in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.